The Chinese government has arrested a 90-year-old cardinal. Yeah, I mean, it's not the bird, by the way. Um, the lore of Catholicism, I, I was raised Catholic, so uh, a cardinal is basically the step below a pope. So you had a priest, right? Yeah. You got the deacon that helps him out. All right. You got the priest, then you have a bishop. Think about chess. Okay, right? now who's the guy who drinks all the wine? All the wine? You know, the sacrilegious wine or whatever it is, the sacrilegious. <laughs> sacrificial wine or whatever okay, it is, the, yeah, the blood of Christ. That's the priest, yeah. Okay, the priest drinks. When they do mass, right? Yeah. Anyway, the cardinal is above the bishop, which mm -hmm. is above the priest, right? So the, these are like the top dogs, Yeah. right? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, Hong Kong was always a place with like religious freedom compared to mainland China. Yeah, it's so weird because when you step over the border into Hong Kong, you see a lot of mainstays from the western world you'll see boy yeah. scouts for yeah. instance yeah, you'll see like right? saint mary's church this or that or like the kids uniforms from the uk they, yeah and they've got christian schools and, and yeah. that kind that's, of thing yeah that's yeah. what i meant like yeah. at those christian schools anyway mm -hmm. the unfortunate thing is not that they have religious freedom in hong kong the unfortunate thing if i was gonna finish my sentence was that they're taking that away right yeah. so the national security law in china means that if you speak out against mainland china if you speak out against the ccp or the chinese government then you are a national security threat. It's huge. Yeah. It'd be like if you were charged with like terrorism here or something. Yeah, on and, and it's soil. arbitrary. They it's really arbitrary. can throw it at anyone. And why did they throw it at this cardinal, by so the way? So there's this, there was an insinuation that he, because he was outspoken about human rights and things, and, you know, against mm. the Chinese government, that he was colluding with foreign forces. And again, yeah. this is the whole thing, is that we are the foreign forces, right? Mm. We are, we're outspoken against the Chinese government and its human rights atrocities. Yeah. When people talk to people like us, I'm not saying he talked to us, but people that talk to people like us, mm. they get... Um, kind of lumped into the same group of yeah. national security threats. Yeah. So because yeah. he had probably relationships with the Vatican or anyone abroad, really. Well, human his, rights groups. his main thing was that he was uh, raising funds to help the pro democracy Correct. people and helping them out, like, you right. know, when they got into trouble, because they all are getting into trouble yes. and arrested and so on. So he'd be there fundraising Correct. and so on to try and help them. But what I'm trying to say is that the law, yeah. when you collude with foreign forces, they have to get him on something, right? Mm -hmm. So they want to actually punish. So I was getting to the point. They want to actually punish him for for the pro democracy thing. Yeah. But the real legal cause is that they can use the national security law to say that he was involved with foreign governments, right? Yeah. And Maybe. then that can be related to the democracy thing because it could be seen as like overthrowing a government, right? Yeah. Which in turn means that you're trying to overthrow the Beijing government, right? Mm -hmm. So all of this stuff kind of trickles down, and they're they're going after a freaking ninety year old, a ninety year old yeah. cardinal. So I spoke to some nuns. Okay. Some sisters um, in the same sect as him. Okay. And they're they're freaking out. They're sure. absolutely furious. Um, and it's really devastating, not only to the Catholic Church, but just religious freedom in general in the area, because it was seen as a outpost for religious freedom yes. from people that kind of suffer from religious persecution within mainland China. Yeah. They, Hong Kong is not safe anymore. Well, I mean, that's the whole point. For those of you who are wondering what that whole hoo ha about you know, the Hong Kong pro-democracy movement yeah. was. Remember with the umbrellas and the tear gas mm -hmm. and the, the police and the clashes and everything, a lot of people probably thought like, what are these guys on about? They're just agitating. They're just like making a fuss. You know, I know a lot of people thought that. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people demonized the pro-democracy uh, guys because they were like, why don't they just shut up and get along with their yeah. lives? Everything's fine. Yeah. They were fighting against this in particular. Okay. The fact that this new yeah. law was going to be passed and if they pass that law, which they have now, they can arbitrarily yeah, arrest anyone. Yeah. So they're trying, to, they're trying to go against, I mean, the, he was involved in this, right? Yeah. Going against the law that would punish people for whatever they want to punish them with. And this is who they're going after. Yeah. So and that, we, yeah. we called this, I mean, we actually had a lot of opposition in the beginning, only in the very beginning. Yeah. Um, even from people that were not pro CCP, just people that were like, oh, you're reading too much into this national security sure. law. Running de almost running ironic oh, We defense. had people running defense. I, I have friends in Hong Kong that yeah. were... Just telling me that? like, oh, you know, they're just disrupting our way of life and they're a nuisance and they shouldn't right. be standing up. And, you know, you get that. But, yeah, but I'm not even the people that were against the protests, it's just people saying like this national security law is mm. it's, it's only going to be used in super uh, Oh, yeah, rare cases if there's yeah. like a national security, like someone's yeah. going to try and Bomb uh, yeah, do a yeah. terrorist thing. Right. No, this guy who's a 90 year old cardinal, whatever, Christian guy, yeah, cardinal, Catholic yeah. guy who helps raise money for people that are in trouble, yeah. he's the one being arrested. Yes. And, that's, and that shows you. It's not just him. Yeah. I mean, look at this article. It says, um, they also, remember, what was that, Denise Ho or whatever, yeah. they got her. There's a bunch of people, anyone, they're really just 
kind of going down the ranks trying to figure out anyone that was involved with this kind of stuff mm. and then throwing them you know in jail putting them on a list or whatever it's to the point now like obviously winston and i we can't even tr- we didn't, can't even connect flights through Hong Kong. No, they'll I mean, that's us. the thing. They'll nab us. They, they'll nab anyone. Anyone. Not just, I'm not trying yeah. to say we're important. I'm yeah. saying it goes down to even people like us, all the way down there. Yeah. That's that's who they're going after. Yeah. Like minor voices in this movement. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, so that's it just shows you that the, that fight was not in vain. Yeah. It had a purpose. Yes. Yes. Those protests, those v- sometimes violent protests, they broke out into violence. They were trying to stop this. Yeah.